Whoa, what happened? Uh, uh, please don't tell me it's not another dream. No, I'm saying this is imagination playing with you. Now oh, let's see it. I'm down the right path. Sorry. Left path, I guess it doesn't I understand you want to sleep a bit longer, okay. but don't we have a long way ahead of us. Look, it's not about the sleep. I just woke up from the most terrifying nightmare of my entire life. So? Everyone has nightmares. But this nightmare was different. This nightmare felt so realistic. So? I have lucid dreams all the time. No, 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 it's not just that. The nightmare I had were three dreams combined into one. And they're all leading up to this event tonight. I don't know, but it's just a feeling. This is Fire Tower 4 at Gracewind Park. What's your problem? Over. Uh, help me! Uh, I saw this radio station out on the park. Please, you gotta help me! I'm going to die out here! <sighs> Alright, sir. I'm gonna need you to calm down for a second. yourself together now. You've had the worst dream of your life. It could not even be true. It could all be a coincidence, except there might not even be a goat man out there. You just need to pull yourself together. And if this is true, you just gotta do what you did in the other dreams. Only this time, things will end much differently. Huh? Who goes there? Oh, jeez. Huh? What was that? Did you hear that? Yes, sir. I heard that sound, too. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Look around for any landmarks, and once you see a mine, I want you to go towards it. Continue on the trail. If you hit a fork in the road, keep going straight. And keep going on the trail. And if you hit another fork in the road, take a left. And you should hit my tower. Over. Okay, I got it. I'm heading there now. Man, this job just gets stressful as the night goes on. I might want to think about quitting after this. And how on earth is he sleeping through all this? Especially with his eyes open. I'll never understand my co-worker.
right? You know, you know, I'm just gonna say this now, since you're the only one on the radio listening. Um, there's a reason why I came out here tonight. Um, two days ago, my, uh, my girlfriend broke up with me. It's just, a, it was just a, it was just a solid little fight. I didn't mean for it to end the way it did. She just walked out on me. I thought a hike out here in the park would kind of clear my mind of it, but it's been on my mind the whole time. I just... Now I'm out here being chased by a wild animal or whatever that was that screamed. It's just, the stress is rising even more. I just... Okay, it's, it's been a long night for me. Once I arrive at your tower, I think I'll feel a little bit better. I mean, I just need someone to talk to right now, and I think you're the only one out here that's really listening. Are you listening? As a matter of fact, I'm listening to every single word. You see, I've been through what you've been through. Six years ago, my wife walked out on me. We had a good relationship, and then it just suddenly went sour. The worst part is, we had a teenage son, and it's just, he couldn't take all the fighting. Shortly after our divorce, he, um, he committed suicide. She blamed it on me, and I took the blame. You see, it's not easy being a parent, especially when your relationship is dying. The point is, I came to this job because I wanted to clear my mind of that. And it's working. I like helping people out in the park. It helps settle my mind. But then I think about it. This job also connects me to those who are going through the same thing. Like you. But this park has its dark presence. And I wish you were here to understand that. Well, you don't have to wait anymore. What, 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 you're here. Wow, that was, that was fast. Here, um, uh, take a seat, take a seat. So, you explained something about a dark presence in the park. Would you care to explain that? Well, it's a mouthful, but uh, here it goes. About an hour ago, I woke up from the most terrifying and possibly realistic dream of my life. It was split into three sections. It had something to do with what happened at night. You were being chased by a wild animal, which was actually a monster, and it was up to me to try and save you. In the first dream, you died to the monster. Second dream, I died to the monster. In the third dream, we both died in the monster. And, well, it relieves me now because I just saved your life. Because of a dream. Now, it's very ironic, but it's true. And this monster that was chasing you? It's responsible for all the countless disappearances around this park. It is no other than... The Goat Man. A malicious, demonic entity that resembles part goat, part man, and can mimic the voices of those lost in the woods. Now what surprises me is that I didn't hear any mimicking. But in the dreams I did. But I'm just getting too deep into it now. That's what I wanted to say to you. I saved your life because of a dream. Well, I am 
very thankful for the help. Thank you for saving my life. I really appreciate it. Hey, you know, that reminds me. We need more people to know about this. We need to get this story onto the Gracewind Herald. We need the world to know that you're one of the very few people who have managed to escape the Goat Man. And that was because of my help. So, uh, what do you think we should tell them?